Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about some of my least favorite bottles in my collection. Um, so some of these I don't like just because they don't function very well and some of them I just think are straight ugly. I'm so sorry, of course they're gonna start mowing as I'm sitting down to film. When it gets really close and super annoying, I'll, I'll stop filming. Um, but anyways, yeah, some of them I just think are ugly. If any of these are bottles that you guys absolutely love, don't take any offense by this. This is just my opinion. Um, just because I don't like them doesn't mean that they're bad bottles. And same with the ones that were my favorite. I know that I have bottles that I really love that a lot of people really hate and think are super tacky and awful. This is lighthearted and fun and not meant to make anybody upset. With that being said, I'm gonna jump right in though. I'm gonna start with a Swiss Arabian bottle. <laughs> this is Swiss Arabian Shag Half Oud, and I absolutely hate this bottle. I think it is so ugly and super tacky looking. Um, just having a full on bright gold bottle, it's just, and then this quilting on the back, I just think it's so really just distasteful. I don't like it at all. Um, what I can tell you what I do like about it is it's very high quality. You can tell that none of that this is never gonna peel. It's the writing is never gonna fade off or peel off the front of the bottle. Um, it's very heavy. It's a really nice high quality bottle. Oh, I love the way this smells. It's so incredible. Oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful, super vanilla heavy rose. Such an incredible fragrance, but yeah, the bottle is just so ugly. I don't like it at all. I love the quality of it. I don't like the the cheap gold. So anyways, that is a Shat Calf Oud from Swiss Arabian. Okay, next we have Sarah Jessica Parker. This is SJ, SJP NYC. Um, I've got two of these. This is the reformulated version, and then I've also got the original version. Um, I don't like anything that looks patchwork like this. It's very like mid to mid to late 2000s, like patchworky, and I don't like it at all. I think it's super ugly. I think the patterns are super tacky, like this cheetah print and then a zebra print, and then you've got this like hippy dippy floral, and then you've got this really beautiful kind of watercolored floral. Um, yeah, and then just a black, just a straight black square. It's just, I don't like it at all. I think it's super ugly. I love the actual bottle. Oh, I love this fragrance too. This is a beautiful wild strawberry perfume. And it is amazing. One of my favorite celebrity scents ever. And I love that you can pull the bottle out so you can see exactly how much you have. Um, I love it. I love this fragrance and I love the function of the bottle. I think it's a great bottle. I love how the cap screws on and everything. I just think it is sinfully ugly. So anyways, that is SJP NYC. Okay, this next one, I don't have any of the real bottles. I just have a knockoff, but I think that they're ugly. Like I really hate the real bottles. Um, this is from, I don't even know who makes this. This is a fragrance called G for Women's Sexy Night. Um, this is basically, it's a knockoff of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal. And I hate the Scandal bottles. Oh my goodness. This is such a stunning dupe of Scandal by Night. I'm so sorry. You can probably hear those weed eaters going out there. But I have to film because my husband's about to come home and I need to get my filming done. Gosh, I love this fragrance. Such a good dupe. I can't wear any of the Scandal perfumes. They have, there's something in them that goes weird on my skin. But this clone is really, really good. But yeah, I hate the bottles. I don't like the bottles of the, and it, they stole it from an old Revlon perfume called Head Over Heels. Is it Revlon? I think it's a Revlon perfume called Head Over Heels, I believe, if I remember correctly. But yeah, they totally stole stole the whole idea from that perfume. And I just don't think it's, it's another one that I just think is really tasteless. I, I just don't, I just don't enjoy it. I think it's ugly. Um, I don't like the whole like women's legs sticking out of a bottle. I just think it's weird. <sighs> The fragrance is so good though. It's such a good dupe of Scandal by Night. 
So anyways, that is the whole scandal line. I do not like the bottles. Okay, next we have this Michael Buble bottle. This is Michael Buble by invitation. I hate this bottle. It had this like, it had a little plastic piece on here that came out. It was like a little gold circle that made it look like a, you know, an old fashioned perfume bottle, like an atomizer perfume bottle where you would spray, you know, spray the like little ball. But this is so ugly. This is all cheap plastic. This is this is like a really cheap plastic. It weighs nothing. Sorry, they're like right out my window. He's weed eating right now, and then they'll mow our yard, and then they'll move on. I think he's mowing the back of our yard right now. I love this perfume though. It's like it took me a while to decide if I really liked this or not, and I really love it. It's like sweet, plummy goodness. It's sweet and sugary and plummy, but somehow still a little bit perfumey. It's so good, but yeah, the bottle is awful. It's really awful. I like the concept of having the glass. I think it's a really cute concept of making it look like an old school, you know, um, I, I don't even know what you call those kind of perfume bottles where you've got the little ball to, I think it's a really cute concept. It just wasn't executed very well. It just ended up looking super cheap. So anyways, that is Michael Buble by invitation. Okay, next, this one might be a little bit controversial. I don't like these bottles though. I don't mind how they look. I just, I don't know. I just don't like them. These are the Montel bottles. The reason I really don't like these, I rarely see a Montel bottle that isn't dented. They dent so easily. Um, they scratch really easily. The writing wears off of them very easily. You can see the label is, like the label got rubbed off. So if I didn't know what perfume this was, like I wouldn't know what perfume it is. Um, this is Rose Elixir, but yeah. I, I do like this. This is a tester bottle, so um, I had people tell me that the tester bottles are the ones that this thing doesn't come off, so you can't like take it off. It's not the stopper the way that it is on non-tester bottles. Um, those, I think that part is kind of cute, and I don't mind how these look. I kind of like the kind of slightly industrial look of the bottles, but I just think that they're not very practical, um, and they just don't hold up well. They scratch really easily, easily, they dent very easily, and they just don't hold up very well. So yeah, because of that, Montel bottles are just not my favorite at all. Okay, this next one, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with this bottle. I think it's super, super cute. It's just not practical at all. It's very, very difficult to store, and yeah. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Decadence bottle, and I think it's cute. I think the whole idea of the purse is super cute. I like the tassel. I think it's so pretty. The chain, it's like a super heavy, really high quality gold chain. The tassel is really high quality and really beautiful. Yeah, I'm not big on like snake skin, so I don't love the kind of snake skin lid. But the bottle itself is just very, this is a 3.4 ounce bottle, so it's really, really big. But it's its very difficult to store. Um, this is just hard to store because, and it takes up a lot of space on my shelf because I have to store it with like the tassel, you know, down on the shelf. And it's just really, really hard to store. It's not a practical bottle at all. I can even imagine this being like on your vanity. It would take up a lot of space like on your vanity. I guess you could get a tray just for it and maybe that would help, but you know, I don't store it on a vanity. I store it in a hutch with hundreds of other perfumes. So for me, this just is not practical. Um, I don't think it's like tacky or anything, but I don't really like it either. Golly, do I love this perfume though. This is so nostalgic smelling for me. It smells like something from my childhood at Christmas time. And I absolutely love it. This is another one that is just sweet, plummy goodness. I love it. The perfume itself is phenomenal. 
but I mean, maybe the best perfume Marc Jacobs has ever done. I'm, yeah, I would say I think it's the best Marc Jacobs perfume there is. Just very impractical, hard to store. Okay, another one. I think this bottle is perfectly fine looking. I think it's really pretty, but it's incredibly impractical and it, it's very, very hard to apply this perfume because of this bottle. Um, this is Kim Kardashian Pure Honey. And this is another amazing perfume. I mean, fantastic. This is another one that is very nostalgic for me. It smells like something from my childhood. I love it. I can't put my finger on what it is, but it smells like something from the 80s. It might be a fragrance from the 80s. I'm not sure, but it's, oh, it's amazing. Such an incredible perfume. I mean, this is one of the best celebrity perfumes on the market, in my opinion. So, so well done. I love it, but yeah. Trying to hold this bottle and spray it, especially if you have little hands like I do. I don't have big hands, so I have to use my whole hand to try and spray this. Usually, I use both hands. I'll hold the bottom of the bottle with one hand while I spray with the other hand. So this is just a silly bottle. It takes two hands, really, to spray this one. Um, I don't think it looks bad. I think it's actually pr quite pretty. Um, it looks, it reminds me of like an old crystal, like booze decant or something, decanter. Is that a word? Yeah, something that you would, like a, an old crystal, like decanter that you would hold booze in that would be on like a 1950s bar or something. It kind of reminds me of that. So, I do like how it looks. I think it's really, really pretty. And I love that there's a little bee on the bottle too. And it's cute the way that they put, you know, KK and then pure honey as if the bee wrote it. It's, it's cute. This whole thing is really cute and it's quite a pretty bottle, but yeah, as far as function goes, it is one of my least favorites perfume bottles to pull out and spray because it is such a pain in the tail. So that is Kim Kardashian Pure Honey. Okay, next we have, these are the Al Rahab bottles. These are like what their spray perfume bottles look like. And I really don't like these. Um, the lid is like the cheapest thing you will ever feel. And don't get me wrong, I realize these are like, you know, between six and $10 usually. So you're not paying a lot of money for this bottle of perfume, you know, so I can give it that, but I just really don't like these bottles. I just feel like they're really, really cheap looking. It's mostly the lid that makes it so bad. And the lids are the same on their oils too. I just really, really don't like these lids. They're very, I mean, it feels like bubble gum wrap or like gum wrappers. You know, the silver gum wrappers, that's kind of, it feels like they wrapped silver gum wrappers around like the cheapest plastic ever. And that's the lid. And yeah, it's just, it's really, you know, it is a budget bottle, do not get me wrong. Again, these are very inexpensive perfumes, but there's also like no collar around the sprayer at all. So it just ends up looking really, really cheap. Um, yeah, the labels are fine though. The actual bottle itself is fine. It's a nice glass bottle. Everything else about it is fine, but the lids, and the sprayer part is just not just not good for me, in my opinion. So anyways, those are the Al Rahab spray perfume bottles. Okay, this next one, this is probably my least favorite bottle in my collection. Hands down, I really, really do not like this bottle. I think it is probably the ugliest bottle in my collection. Um, I hate it. This is Police Forbidden and this fragrance is incredible. The fragrance, it's a little bit like Hypnotic Poison, but if you added a ton of vanilla and a ton of almond to Hypnotic Poison, that's what it smells like. Like a really vanilla, almond heavy Hypnotic Poison. It's an incredible fragrance. Um, the bottle though, this is a set of handcuffs complete with a key. It's got this weird like random gold snakeskin pattern on the back and it's just awful. It's awful. It's the worst bottle ever. I don't know who thought that this would be a good idea. And then because it's such like an ambery, dark, vanilla heavy liquid, of co and this is all white, of course the top has turned brown from, you know, the liquid. 
it's, it was just a terrible idea. It was not well thought, thought through. It's just bad. I've had people ask me if you can take the handcuffs off and you really can't. It's like the whole top of the perfume, it, it's like connected at the top of the perfume. This doesn't budge at all. So this part I could, but this doesn't budge at all. And I also, I also had somebody comment on a video that I talked about how much I hated this bottle one time. She commented and said that she somehow got the, the all the white off and she said it looks worse. Like it actually didn't make the bottle look better. It actually made it look worse. And probably because it's, you know, it's not made to have this all removed. So yeah, but anyways, I'll live with it because the fragrance is phenomenal. So that is Police Forbidden. Okay, next we've got an Elizabeth Arden fragrance. This, I think most Elizabeth Arden bottles look pretty cheap. Um, for the most part. I think there's some in like the Fifth Avenue line or the like the New York line that are halfway decent, but a lot of these bottles just look really cheap. This one has got to be the worst. So the bottle, without the lid, it's not too bad, but the lid itself is like super, super cheap plastic. It's so like, it's so cheap. And then with the cheap gold that wraps around, it's just so bad. And then just like with the Al Rahab one, when you take it off, just the fact that there's like literally nothing around the sprayer or around the neck, it's just capped and that's it. I just, that makes it look so, so cheap too. Um, I just think it looks really, really bad. It looks very, very cheap. The bottle itself is fine though. I mean, if you took this away and gave it like a different situation up top, this would be fine because this doesn't look bad. Well, the stick, the fact that it doesn't have an invisible stick too also kind of makes it look cheap. Um, most, most people are using invisible sticks at this point. So the whole thing just looks pretty cheap to me, but it's fine. I paid like $12 for it and I love the way it smells. It smells amazing. It's like nostalgic to me. It smell, it's like 90s in a bottle. Very nostalgic, sweet, powdery. I just love it. I love the perfume inside so much. So that is Elizabeth Arden True Love. Okay, this next one is an Armoff fragrance. This is Armoff Club de Nuit Intense. Um, I just think Armoff makes pretty horrible bottles in general. I had Italiano Donna as well, like years ago, and it was the most hideous bottle. It was like this dark maroon fake leather bottle, and it was awful. This one's awful too, so it's really nice quality. It's very, very heavy, very good quality glass, and even the lid is very heavy and nice. Oh, I love this fragrance. But this thing, like, it comes off, so it just hangs there. Um, I constantly have to, like, re-stick it back on. The bottle, it's, like, chipping all over the place. I'm probably not going to get this to focus, but it's, like, chipping all over the place. I've got chips all over, especially, like, right up here where this thing has come loose and, like, smacked it a bunch. It's just bad. I don't love the rhinestones in the lid. Um, I just don't think it's a very attractive bottle. I think if you took the rhinestones out of the lid and if you took this thing away, it would be okay. But, and this isn't even the worst arm off bottle I've ever seen. Like I said, there are some doozies out there and Italiano Donna is one of the worst ones for sure. But I just don't think that arm off does great bottles. Um, the quality of this one is amazing, but it just looks not, not very nice. Especially now that it's all like banged up. It just, it looks really bad. So yeah, that is our Moth Club de Nuit Intense. And then last but not least, I've got a Gail Heyman perfume. And the bottle of this one is actually not that bad. The bottle alone is actually really pretty. It reminds me of the Jennifer Lopez Deseo bottle. It's actually quite a pretty bottle. The lid though is where it loses me. Um, this big, huge cat on the lid, and then it stinks really, really badly. The lid is, it smells like straight up toxic plastic, and that smell transfers to your sprayer. So when you go to smell your perfume, 
you get toxic plastic fumes. Thankfully, when you spray it on, the fumes don't transfer, but it's just, it's awful. Um, a lot of people ask me why I don't just throw the cap away because I have this weird thing of I really don't like perfume bottles without caps. Every once in a while, I'll buy a tester that doesn't have a cap, and I will be prepared for the fact that it's not going to have a cap, but I'm just weird. I like my perfume bottles to have caps, so I keep it for that reason, but I just think that it's super ugly, and it stinks really bad, too. So that is Gail Heyman Delicious Vanilla. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are, I don't think I had any other in any other bottles in my collection that I really, really hate. Those are the bottles that I really just don't like in my collection. I do hope that you all enjoyed this despite the lawn mowing and the weed eating in the background. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.